All right, I'm making bolognese uh, according to Marco Piero White's recipe in BBC Maestro Delicious Food Cooked Simply. So I begin with grating my carrots, grating my celery, onion, and uh, garlic. And I haven't made bolognese in a really long time. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've uploaded it uh, a different version before, but this one is a very simple version, no tomato paste, only um, passata, or I guess crushed jarred tomatoes. And optionally you could use your own tomato sauce, which I think he uses. And I cut, I grate the onions last because uh, I'm, I always have to grate the core and that makes me cry. So I, I want to uh, take a break after I throw all this stuff in the uh, pot. And my vessel of choice is just a regular cast iron pot. And I seasoned it a couple times the week before. Um, I don't really think it matters that much uh, adding wine and, and acidic ingredients as long as the seasoning is decent enough. And I just cooked this over medium-low heat for a long time. Um, I think undercooking this is probably a, a huge mistake. And then on the side, just like Marco, I cook the meat separately. And I'm only using ground beef. And I just cook it in a little bit of olive oil. And I brown very, very thoroughly. I don't have enough meat to do uh, multiple batches, so it's just the entire thing in this one pan. And also make sure to take your time browning the meat. This is pretty much maybe one of four steps of this entire recipe, so you can't really mess up anything. And on the side, I do season the vegetables uh, with a little bit of salt, but it will not be enough. And I season one more time uh, before I put everything in the oven. And once the most of the water is evaporated and the meat is browned, I drain. Although this is probably unnecessary for me because there was not a lot of fat in this uh, ground meat. There's also some stuff stuffed to the pan so I clean it out with some water and I put it in the uh, vegetable pot. And after I put it all together, I lost this footage, but I add a good amount of white wine. And this is where I, I sort of part ways with his recipe because he I think he always uses red wine, but I have not found a red wine that I like to make uh, bolognese with. And I also add the bay leaf and thyme early, uh, just like he does. And as you can see, uh, there's still a tiny, tiny bit of residue from the wine, but mostly reduced. And I don't use tomato sauce, I just used crushed, or I mean pureed, uh, jarred tomatoes. And I clean out the jar with a little bit more white wine. And after I bring it to a simmer, I turn off the heat and I add a cartouche to 
keep as much of the water in the pot. I also cover the lid with aluminum foil to create a tight seal on the top. And then I put it in a very, very low oven. Uh, I think it was 280 degrees Fahrenheit for... I did it the full two hours just because I, I'm using a raw... Uh, tomatoes. And I'm even more upset about this part because my camera turned off as I was undoing the cartouche. So yep, this is the only footage I have of after uh, it was done. And I don't eat it immediately. I store away half the bolognese and I freeze the other half and then the next day during lunch I just slowly heat up the bolognese in this pan and I don't have the same pasta as he does so I just use some linguine I drain the pasta and add olive oil And I put the pasta on the bolognese. And I'm always scared to do this because there's this one time where I was tossing this pan and I lost all my fried rice. But the secret to doing this is just to not care. Um, and the motion is like stabbing someone and not uh, the upward motion. And after I add the parmesan and olive oil, it gets a little bit easier to do. Yeah, a little bit easier. I need to stop worrying and just do it. There we go. Add a little bit more olive oil. Alright. And that's the dish. I just serve with a little bit more parmesan on top. And to finish, just like Marco, I add a tiny bit of seasoning and some more olive oil. And for old time's sake, I will eat this entire plate of pasta, but that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching. Mm.